Today we're going to begin a series uh, trying to make a little bit more sense of the weldment functionality in SOLIDWORKS. Uh, first of all, before we get into actually a drawing or into an weldment, let me uh, talk a minute about the options uh, box here. Uh, some people are scared of the option box because it's a little daunting with as many options as there are. But if you simply go to file locations here, uh, you'll see that under show folders for, you'll see if you drop that down, that you have lots and lots of information here. Uh, if you're ever in need of trying to find where your, uh, say your Wellmet profiles are at, you just go down to Wellmet profiles and click there and you can see exactly where SOLIDWORKS or where your computer is looking for those Wellmet profiles at. So that's what we're going to do in this uh, section is we're going to actually create a Wellmet profile and put it inside this folder. Now, I have a, uh, a common folder for my SOLIDWORKS weldments. Uh, if I go into my design library, you can see here that mine are all under SOLIDWORKS data along with uh, everything else. Uh, my different templates, my electrical, hydraulic, uh, routing, sheet metal, uh, and templates. But if you click on weldments here and open it up, uh, in this in this Wellmet profile, you ha our Wellmet uh, situation, you have to leave everything as far as the folders alone. SolidWorks looks for a subfolder under Wellmets as your main division of the part, and then it looks for a subfolder under that. So here we have our Wellmets, then our ANSI inch, and then all of the folders underneath it would be a division of that ANSI inch. If I clicked on this one, for instance. I get all the uh, profiles that fall under that particular uh, heading uh, and so on and so forth. I can go down and look at uh, say tube here and uh, you see the tubes there that you have inside of SOLIDWORKS or inside of your Wellmet profiles. Okay, So how do we get the Wellmet profiles in here? I mean these are all um, most of all these are created for, by, uh, inside SOLIDWORKS for you as a user uh, and you can download those simply by going to the uh, SOLIDWORKS content folder in your um, design library and clicking on Wellmets. If you click on Wellmets you have all of these uh, profiles that are out there all the different standards so you can download these. These are in a folder format so you're downloading them into uh, your Wellmets here and they're zip files so this uh, helps you in the long run. Now what happens if we want to create one now? Now I'm not gonna, you can create any shape of a weldment that you wanted to, anything from uh, um, curved uh, or uh, detailed crown mold uh, all the way to the simplest of squares. Uh, in this case we're just gonna start one on the front plane, start a sketch and I'm gonna do a center rectangle and I'm going to drag this out as a center. And at this point, if I were to create a Wellmet profile here, I would basically have five uh, profile locator points. Uh, the four at each corner, of course, and then the one in the center would be the fifth one. Now, if I wanted to create inside a Wellmet more points than this, maybe I wanted to make sure that I could put it in the center of each one of these or in the center of here. All we have to do is go in and get the point tool and pick the center points or put them wherever you'd like of each one of these lines, make sure that it's in the center. And then if we wanted to, we could go in and put one above and below and out to the sides as well. So we can, we can do any number of things like this with SOLIDWORKS. So if we go in here and do a couple of dimensions, let's just say this is a and we have currently um, we have a couple of points out here so we need to define those points so here say we got a one inch there and we'll put a one inch here as well just kind of keep it consistent and the same thing we want these to be um, vertical or horizontal with the uh, origin that'll fully define these points So there, you have a, a completed Wellmet profile here. Now, I'm just going to get out of that, click OK to accept it, 
and you see there the profile. Now this is simply a part, it hasn't been saved yet, so I'm going to highlight that sketch. Just click on it one time. I'm going to go up and say File, Save As, and I'm going to go into that uh, special folder that I was telling you about a minute ago where all my Wellment profiles are at under my SOLIDWORKS data, under Wellments. And I'm gonna, well, before I go all that, I'm going to change this files of type to a library feature part. Then I'm going to go in and change the location where I place this at. This is going to be in my Wellment folder, SOLIDWORKS data, under Wellments. And I'm going to put this under test. Now I currently have a beams under there, so let's just put this under a new folder and let's say this is a square. Um, stock. Okay, and then we go into that folder there, and we're just going to say now we want to rename this thing, and let's just call this a seven by seven with uh, one inch offset. And we click save at that point. Now, notice whenever you do that, that your sketch icon changes over here and you suddenly have a little uh, origin there or a little triad inside it. You also notice that your um, part up here changes. It looks like a set of books there. So you know you've done it right whenever you get that in there. Now you can just close this down and then we're going to go in there and say we want to create another sketch. And this sketch is just going to be on my right plane. And I'm just going to go in there and we're just going to draw a couple of lines here. Now this thing is a 7 by 7 so let's put some dimensions on here. Let's make this 45. Let's make this one and the origin uh, midpoint. And let's make this top one and the bottom one equal. And then we'll put a dimension here. And let's just say 15. That gives us a pretty nice little um, U-shaped um, weldment. And of course, in order to use the weldments, you have to get out of the sketch. So click OK to accept the sketch. Go into your uh, weldments and structural member. And we're going to go into our test folder that we created. We're going to drop down our type and we're going to pick that square stock that we created earlier. And we're going to click the 7 by 7 with 1 inch offset. And then we're going to simply click on these three faces, or three sketches. And as you rotate it around, you can kind of see there that we automatically put this in the center. At the center point is where our profile locator point is at. So now we can go into the bottom of our property manager and click on locate profile. And at that point, we can put it at any place that we wanted to. If we wanted to put it on that inch on the inside, we could do that. Or we could put it on the inch on the outside. Just select the locator point again and pick it again. That puts it a little close, overlapping even. So let's go back to the way we had it there. That looks the best. Uh, we can also, again, like I said, any of these points will work. So you can use any of these points to create the uh, weldment that you're looking at, depending on how you draw your sketch and where that sketch, um, how you want that weldment to be in regards to that sketch. Now, there will be more in this session uh, with the weldments coming up, so please watch for those. Uh, if you have any questions or if you need to uh, contact us, you can go to our website at www.secanttech.com or you can give us a call here at our home office is 501 835-6868. Thanks and have a great day.